Hello? I put all your stuff in your mailbox this morning. Good. Thanks. David, I didn't mean to cause you any pain. Look, I have to go. I'm doing homework. David. I mean, okay, I get it. She broke your heart. Okay. But what you're underestimating is the inconsequentiality of the situation. Dallas, you've painted a more than adequate picture, okay? You know, why do you feel the need to beat it into the ground? Because you're not listening to me. Feel free to reiterate. Alright. You're being snappy and clever, which is a clear sign that you, my friend, are in the whiny bitch phase of the breakup. Their phases? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I see it all the time. All right, well, what does this phase entail? Being mopey, listening to sad songs, mm -hmm. and being snappy with your friends. Look, as mentally stimulating as this all is, I'm really not in the mood. <coughs> all right, all right, stop, stop, stop. But I want you to seriously consider what I have in mind for you here. Tell us, what if I just want to feel miserable in peace? Will you hear me out? Go for it. All right, now don't freak out, but I want you to go out on a date. Oh my God, of all the stupid things that you could have possibly said to me, you had to say the single Whoa. dumbest thing. I see this all the time, and the guys that get back out there are the ones that bounce back the fastest. I don't want to date anyone, Dallas. All right, I have no hope for that anymore. Not for me, not for love, all right, and all certainly right. not for the next girl around the corner. Well, duly noted. Just. Go on a date and get over it. No, wait, how is having some meaningless encounter with some random girl gonna help me anyway? Maybe it won't help you, but what's the harm in going out on a date with a pretty girl, right? It would appear that just going on a date with a pretty girl can do a considerable amount of harm. I met Allison through mutual friends. At first I was just curious about her. She was quiet. But when she spoke, it was always profound. She was mysterious. I thought she had this whole secret world inside her that I had to know. Dallas told me that she was messed up, but he couldn't elaborate. She had emotional problems. She'd become one of those girls who Dallas said had crazy eyes. Still, I couldn't resist the urge to see what was behind those eyes, no matter how crazy they appeared. Do you want to go wandering? Wandering? Yeah. Yeah, sure. So, what are you thinking about right now? What do you mean? It's the way you look when you walk. You know, it looks like you're really thinking about something. I guess I was thinking about how no one really knows me. How I can sit in my room for hours crying and no one suspects the thing. What makes you cry? I don't know. Sometimes everything just hits you. I have to pretend to be normal. Yeah, but I mean, that's everybody. I mean, everybody wants to act normal. It's how we keep from imploding. It's the same routine every day. The dialogue never changes. Everyone is disconnected. It makes me wonder who else cried last night. Yeah, you can actually probably turn a car over by myself. 
Hey, where have you been, man? We've been waiting for like half an hour. Sorry, rehearsal took longer than expected. Who's your friend? This is my friend, Grace. I am giving her a ride today. She's in theater too, so uh, you guys should get along great. I didn't know you wrote poems. Nobody does. In fact, I think you're the first person I've shown that to. Read me a newer one. Okay. What about the one I wrote right after I met you? No one's ever written me a poem before. Ever? Ever. I loved it. So, Grace, uh, you're in theater, right? Yeah, this is my first year. Oh, are you, are you gonna be in the show Friday? Yeah, it's a small part, though. I got to leave rehearsal early today. Well, I mean, you know what they say. There's not really small parts, right? Just small actors? <laughs> No. no, there are definitely small parts, and I have one of the smallest. Uh, so, what are you doing after the show Friday? Um, <clears throat> I, actually, I think, I, you know, I have uh, homework, homework, and uh, school stuff. So I, I'll probably, um, I'll probably just go home. Okay. Well, if you decide that you don't want to go home, let me know. Maybe we can hang out after and do something. Hey, Dallas, thanks for the ride. And David, nice meeting you. Uh, wait, um, look, I was thinking about it. Uh, maybe I'll stick around after the show Friday. Really? Yeah, uh, who knows, maybe we can go wandering. Wandering? Yeah. Sure. You're a real jerk, you know that? Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Don't fall. So, did you have a boyfriend? Yeah. Freshman year. He was a senior. What happened? What always happens. Lesson learned. Okay, wait. What lesson? That the earlier you shatter the fantasy of true love, the better off you'll be. Allison, you know that's not true. No. No. Please, don't be so naive. Listen, I could never hurt you. Promise me anything. I just can't do it all again. There was so much good, but then there was so much bad. And it still hurts. There isn't a doubt in my mind that it won't happen again. Hello? Hi, Grace. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm on my way. All right. I'll see you then. Bye. You make me feel guilty about everything. I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. Yes, you are. Why else did you say things like, I could never leave you, or I could never hurt you? You're making fun of me, and it's mean. Allison, how am I supposed to show affection? All right, how am I supposed to react when you break down and need me? I don't need you to analyze me. I don't need you to tell me that my problems aren't real, or, or that I'm upset over nothing. I just need you to be there without questioning me. Alice, I would do anything to make you feel better. Maybe I don't want to feel better. <laughs> well then, I at least want you to realize that what you're saying is crazy. If I'm so crazy, then why are you here? Stop trying to fix me. Maybe I just want to be broken. I don't want to fix you. I mean, is it that unreasonable that I just want to love you? Don't say that. Word. Why? Why not? Why do I need to be afraid of it? Because. You're trying to make me feel guilty again. You're using it against me. It's love. <laughs> it's love. Love isn't what you think it is, David. You have this perception of love, and it's backed by every Hallmark moment and every on-screen kiss you've ever seen. Look, love is... What? Never having to say you're sorry? Give me a break, David. Loving you is not an obligation to me. I'm not here because it's easy. I'm here because I think you're worth it. Why don't you just leave? Why don't you just give up? You melted my heart. I can't give up. Maybe you should. She had these moments of darkness, and I couldn't help her. No matter how hard I tried, I wanted to be the one to save her. She felt like she was 18 years old and it was already too late to live.
I had a really nice time. Me too. Can I tell you something? Yeah? Look, uh, first of all, let me just say that you're great. Really, you know, today was exactly what I needed. But... But... You know, I just got out of this thing, this relationship, whatever it was. I don't know if I can go back into something similar to that so soon. Do you understand? Thoroughly. Do you ever wonder why people are the way they are? All the time. Well, I mean how, you know, someone who's been hurt can go out and hurt other people in the exact same way. I mean, isn't that absurd? It's a sadistic cycle. Damaged people go out and find themselves these naive, innocent souls, and they hurt them. I don't want to hurt anyone. That's love, though. Sometimes it's great, and sometimes it lasts. Sometimes it hurts. The trick is to find the people you're willing to hurt for. But how can I trust anyone? That's the other trick. I'll get back to you with the answer when I find it. Good night, David. Wait. I don't know what it feels like, you know, for it to last. Me either. Has anyone ever hurt you? Yes. Maybe it doesn't have to be that way. Maybe it's inevitable. But the problem is, if you're not willing to try, you'll never know if it was worth it. Was it worth it? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't take back a second. Maybe I'll make that leap again someday. I hope so. Good night. Hello? Hey, Grace. It's me. Um... Look, I really did have a great time today, and I want to hang out again sometime. Okay, that sounds great. David, I'm really glad you called. Yeah, me too. <laughs>